Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Misha Jordan and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own digital planner part three. If you haven't checked out part one and two please make sure to go check that out. In this video I'll show you how to set up a daily page, create additional pages, set up a notes page, and create a front cover. Let's get started. Setting up a daily page. Go ahead and click the grid view at the bottom right hand corner. Uh, you should have already created your weekly pages for all of the months. Then you're going to go ahead and click the template page. You're going to click those three dots and you are going to duplicate. Then you're going to slide that page basically over to uh, be after January week one and you can change it to be daily overview. After you have titled it, we are then going to scroll up to the month of January or the weekly overview. We are going to duplicate that text. Before we paste it, we do need to make sure that we lock all of the elements on this page. So we just go ahead and do that. Then you are going to right click and hit paste and you are going to title it daily overview. can title this whatever you would like. You do not want it to say the specific month. Make sure to also undo the link because we don't want it to link to the month of January. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that week of and I'm going to go ahead and drag that down for the daily overview. I am going to change it around a little bit. Again, this is completely optional and I am going to write the date. This page can be designed however you also choose. You may have a certain layout that you would like. You may want to uh, put the times for the day. You may want to put a things to-do list. This is totally customizable. I am gonna go ahead and add a things to do section. I do wanna make sure that it's the same size as the rest of my planner. So I did go ahead and change that to match. And for this, I am gonna go ahead and add some lines like I have in the past. I just keep duplicating it until I see fit. I am gonna go ahead and highlight all of those and then just duplicate so I don't have to keep doing this over and over again. After I have done that, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this text and I am going to create something to the right side. And this is going to be my daily affirmation or my affirmation of the day. I don't want to add a lines or a whole bunch of lines for this. So I am just going to grab a square and create it so that I can write in that affirmation of the day in that section. Then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that text again. And this time I am going to write down my meal plan for the week. I'm just going to drag those lines from the things to do list and I'm going to duplicate that or copy it and paste it over there to the meal plan. I am going to drag out that a little bit so that it matches the same sizing of the affirmation of the day. I'm going to go to text, then I'm going to click the text and I'm going to write a B for breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. Again, completely optional. Now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that text again. And once I duplicate that text, I am going to make a water tracker section. Then I'm gonna go into elements and I am going to type in water tracker and I'm just gonna find the water tracker that I like. This is a pro feature, so just know that it may or may not work for you. I'm gonna go ahead and place that where I would like it to go. And then I'm gonna kind of look at it and see what I like, dislike, and in this moment, I kind of change a whole bunch around to fit how I want it to fit. Once you have it to your liking, you are then going to go to the bottom right hand corner and you are going to click the grid view. After you have clicked the grid view, you are then going to go to that daily overview page, click the three dots, and then go ahead and click duplicate page. Once you click duplicate, you're going to drag that new uh, page over to the month of February and you're going to basically place it after February week one. You are not going to add a daily overview for every single week of every month. Um, you're also not going to place seven of these for uh, Monday to Sunday because the file will be too big. 
and just go ahead and do that same thing. You can hit the three dots, hit copy, and then you're going to paste it in March week one or after March week one. In the next video, I will show you how you can add more pages once in GoodNotes. Now it's time to create your additional pages. These can look however you would like it to look. If you have a certain plan for your digital planner, then now is that time to add those specific pages that makes your uh, planner unique. If you don't want to create from scratch, I did create 15 customizable Canva templates in which you can go in and edit them. There are things such as meal planners, shopping lists, recipes, workout logs, etc. I am going to go ahead and duplicate the template and I'm going to change it to be the yearly goals page. Once I have done that, I am going to go ahead and go back to the templates that I happen to create. And I'm basically going to highlight everything on that page, right click, copy, and then I'm going to go back to my yearly goals page and then I am going to paste it. I am maybe going to have to move the sizing a little bit, customize it to my liking, change the font, um, but that page is already done. You may have a personal planner or a physical planner and you may like some pages within that. So you may want to also mimic that for your digital planner. These pages are completely up to you. I am gonna go ahead and scroll back up to the very first page or the home page. And with this, I'm gonna duplicate the text so that I can go ahead and write out uh, the yearly goals for the top of the home page. I wanna be able to access that via this home page. Once I've done that, I'll click, I'll hit edit link, and then I'm going to change the link to link to that yearly goals page. And then I'm going to click done. Of course, it does have the underline, so just make sure to um, undo the underline. Then I'm gonna duplicate the text again, and then I'm going to make another page. I wanna make a vision board page, and I'm just gonna move it around to my liking. Your homepage is most likely gonna look a little different from mine because you may have specific things that you want to include. To create your own pages, just make sure to duplicate the template, design the page however you would like, and then just make sure to link the page from your home page to that page that you designed. Now it's time to set up the notes page. So I go ahead and go to design, and then in design, I go ahead and type a notes page. They already have some pre-made templates, so I just find one that I like. And then I make sure to add it as a new page so it doesn't mess up my original pages. I copy all of the lines that are already created, change them to the color that I would like it to be. And then I hit copy. After I have copied it, then I go ahead and scroll to my notes page and I paste it. And then I just make sure to size it how I would like it to be. I did go ahead and duplicate one of the lines so that it had uh, filled the space or it filled the space down there at the bottom. After you have done that, go ahead and hit duplicate page so that you have multiple notes pages. Make sure to delete the template page that you got from Canva. This is up to you how many you would like to have. If you want to have five to 10, you can. And of course, in uh, Good Notes or whatever note taking app you have, you can duplicate this uh, within that. Lastly, we are going to create our front cover. Go ahead and go to your template page and then you're gonna see that plus sign and you're going to click add a page. Then you're gonna slide that over to the left in front of that template page and you are gonna go ahead and write front cover if you choose. Then go ahead and click that page and then you are going to go ahead and go to elements. And in elements, you are going to then go ahead and type whatever it is that you would like your background to be. If you want a black background, a pink background, you can go ahead and search that up. For the purpose of this video, I am just gonna do a black cover. And if this is for personal use, then you can go ahead and design it with however you would like. If you wanna put your name on it, you can. If this is something that you are planning on selling, then you may want to just keep it general with the year, or maybe it's a specific title that you have for this planner. You'll then go ahead and include that. 
I didn't really like the black background, so I did go ahead and change it to a white marble background with black text. So just make sure to finalize everything. Make sure that you like your planner in its entirety. If you would like to delete the template page that you used, you can delete it or you're more than welcome to keep it in your planner for later use. If you want to add anything on there later, you can. Stay tuned for part four where I show you how to export your digital planner and use it on your iPad.